think being able to start a good education at an early age can't be underestimated. When you find a community and a school for your children where everyone involved cares about your child as much as you do, you can't put a price on that. The lower school really sets the tone for what it means to be creative, uh, open-ended, joyful in learning. I think the teachers here have a real talent for nurturing this precious stage of being a kid and creating a balance where learning is both fun and exciting but also challenging and interesting. Before anything else, before the academics, before the various programs are in place here in lower school, our sense of community is, is, is clearly the number one goal for our families. I love that the teachers are participating as well. They play the guitar, they do instrument, like it's a community. Everybody has, everybody's all in it. For children to feel like they're loved, they're cared about, that they're smart, um, that they can do anything. And I think that is my job. You know, we are developing the whole student. You know, from start to finish, we've got the early birds program, we've got the aftercare program, and every time in between, whether it's kids going off to exploration, studying Mandarin, studying Spanish, going to PE, I think you see teachers that truly love what they do. It's not just a, you know, a seven o'clock to three o'clock job. The teachers are always thinking about their students. The teachers really do get to know your children, and I feel like Jack's teachers just know him so well, and that they are um, so supportive of allowing him to be who he is, and while you know helping him grow, not just academically, but socially and emotionally as well, and that has been the biggest impact for him. He just gets to be Jack, and it's amazing. You know, the pushing out of their comfort zone while still loving school has been amazing here. To see them singing and performing in Spanish at four years old, to watch their ability to engage with older people, with children from all different ages, it's just exciting. Their confidence level, I would say, uh, outside of the obvious academic improvement that we've seen over the five years we've been here, uh, is just tremendous. Coming to Berwick, I see that they challenge his growth, they challenge his self-control, they challenge, you know, he's at an emotional stage, so when he has an emotion that may not be positive or constructive, they'll let him know that, and they'll do it in a really positive way so that our son can feel good when he, when he kind of does the right thing. Social emotional learning to me isn't something that's separate. It's when children are taking a pencil out of a caddy and they both reach for the same pencil. It's, well, how do you negotiate in a kind and thoughtful way? We are so aware and cognizant of, of those moments as being important and being valuable and being teachable moments. The difference between any school or community or independent school is the feeling that you get when you walk into the classroom in the hidden curriculum that is around campus and in the gym and on the soccer field and on the paths and for a family to experience that and to see the children in our classroom um, naturally going about as they do every day that's going to be the reason that they come to Berwick.